Hello ladies, I would put this up on the unbranded dye site yesterday and I had loads and loads of people commenting and asking me how I made them. It's very difficult to try and write down how it's done. You've probably seen it many times before but I thought well I'll just sort of refresh everybody's ideas. This was the flower most people were fascinated with was the rosy shape with bits of lace in and I also did that one there which is quite easy and you just push the bits up it's quite simple for anyone to do these are the dies that I used for the main part of the flower you need three of these cut three of those and for the lacy bit you only need to cut one of those for the smaller flowers I cut that one that one, well I cut all of those there and to make the smaller flower and it, I put the solid piece in the middle you can if you like put the solid piece behind that make an even bigger flower all very pretty anyway let's get down to the nitty gritty on this I cut out uh, three of those for the flower one of those so I cut out three and one of those okay and what I did one of these I cut into the center like that through the thing cut round the sixth if you can see one of the petals and also made a, a hole in the center so it went so you literally cut out literally cut out that petal that you literally cut out that petal slit it so it's like so and put around in the center like that so that it looks like that so that was number one number two you cut out one petal which you place to one side and you do the same again cut around the net following petal slit through it and make a hole around the center of the die cut that's part two. Part three is you cut two petals, you cut two petals out and you do the same again. You trim that one down to make a tab and you put those two petals to one side. That is your basic of your rows. This one you add To get the lacy one if you want it like I did it does look pretty um, I cut up and I'll show you how I do that one in a minute what I do is I curl all the edges curl all the flowers like that so that they curl and it helps break the fibers down I also sort of just pull it in the middle as well and then what you do You put, if you haven't got a glue gun, ordinary glue does, this is just quicker. You put glue, not loads, and then you just tweak it round until you've got it there, like so. This is your first piece that you do that's got five petals on you've cut one cut a slit down the middle made a hole and made a tab of the sixth petal which you place glue on and you turn it into that one just catching your tab on the back like so yeah and just making it so that it looks like 
sorry. So it looks like that. You then, as I've already done it, you do the same with the next one, which is four petals. And then you do it the same with your third one. Curl all the edges, the tips, I should say. Tiny spot of glue. And this is, you twist it round, lift it and twist it round so that it gets into the back there so you've then got that okay now you get this is I haven't done it on mine but I do do it normally I put a, a flat bit on the bottom so that it I, I don't know why I didn't do it last night but so what you do you get one that's just fully, so really you need to cut four. Cut one. Use a base. I mean, you don't have to do this, it depends how big you want them. And then you put that in there. Now, I usually use a sponge. A piece of foam. And a ball tool and I just push it down into the foam so it curls a little bit more like so and then you just lift lift your flowers and then you then put your four four ones piece of glue in there I must admit I don't use hot glue very often on these I like to it depends how quick I want to do but I like to use wet glue really and once again Once again, stick it, push it down so that it's, this is why I don't like wet glue, uh, glue gum because of all the strings. I'll show you a tip for that in a minute. Right, so you've now got your layers like so. I forgot to cut a hole in the bottom one, that reminds me. If you're going to put a bottom, uh, a base on your flower, you need to cut a hole in the base. So I usually fold over like so. Scissors I haven't got. It's my cardboard scissors, but I usually cut a hole, which I cut that out, cut a tip off while I was doing it, but just cut a hole in the bottom of your base layer which I haven't done so I will go ahead and make a hole okay, so you've got a hole in your flower to the bottom I mean that in itself but you could put stamens in the middle of there make that into a different flower if you so wish to do so then we come along with the three petals and I put my glue on a couple of sides rather than across the hole put that in okay now this is where it gets a little bit pieces that you cut out the two pieces that you cut from your petal what you need to do is you need to curl them and then tease them each way just put 
I've got a paintbrush in my hand, I use a kebab stick or anything, needles, some crochet hook, anything that will give you that. And then you just tease it around until you've got that shape. Do it as tight as you like or and then what I usually do once I've got the shape I want, squeeze the bottoms together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Scissors. And then I cut a little bit off the bottom. It's slipped out. You just push it in like so. And then that should sit it in there comfortably. I think it needs just a little tad more shaping. And a little hold it because it the petals separate once you start cutting. So a little bit of glue around there. And then place that in the center of that. Oops. I could probably cut too much off, never mind. If you place that in the center so it goes in decently, then your final one, which is your single petal, you roll roll again twist as much as you can I have arthritis in my hands so I do have a problem cut a little piece off the bottom if you can't get it to go through you can leave it at that if you want to but I thought I cut up one of the lacy flowers just cut it up and took a little bit off like that curled it and I used it to just put into little gaps just to just makes it look a little bit different So you could carry on, you can use two or three flowers if you like, I mean, I used one but I don't like all the flowers to look alike so I just do different things on different ones. So there's your rose. Now what you can do with it, what I do, I've got um, a water, I haven't got it here, <laughs> I have, it's in, in the other end of the room. What I do is I spray that very lightly, but I put um, a little bit of warm water in a spray bottle and tip up some glitter eyeshadow and it gives you a glittery effect. Or you can use, if you want to, a Wink of Stella pen, which... Yes, it does do it, but it, it's a little bit more expensive. But if you just catch the little tips with it, um, it's not too too sad. But if you spray with glitter eyeshadow, you get the same effect. Make sure you leave it till dry. 
and when it's dry you'll find that it's a lot um, sturdier the flower is a lot sturdier so that's how I do my roses and you can do that from any dye that's got six petals or any punch that's got six petals I've got one that I did with a punch up here which is a, a large one that's that one that is done with a punch um, as you can see um, you could do it with a large large flower dye make smaller flowers um, I mean you could if you want to be you could make it out of that and make really tiny ones but my hands are just not that tiny but you can make any size out of any large punch that's got six um, petals you can make these roses exactly the same way it, it's no difference at all just make sure you curl you cut your fibers down and curl your edges and there's no reason why you can't do them the same every time I said I'd give you a little tip my little tip is take it off there because it will melt if you use a glue gun right and you've got all these strings where you can instead of pulling them off if you lay your and just go across your project very lightly with your heat gun all those strings will disappear be careful because it does slightly melt your glue but you just hold if you just run over it you'll see now there's no strings there's strings anywhere that's how you do that anyway I know this tool is a bit messy but I'm in my craft room I'm not in where I normally film and I haven't got my easel up I've got this balance on a box with a pair of scissors so it hasn't been that easy because I'm not seeing what I'm doing but I'll edit it anyway that is that die and I, I did leave the link on my comments two or three places I think it was only about one 120 something like that it was dirt cheap I know that and I will be using that quite a bit for when I'm doing um, all different flowers and stuff I mean you've also got you can do that you, that one is just so pretty as well it tees your leaves up I mean and that also laid on the back of one of those you get your larger flower and then you can use your tiddly widdly ones these there is a, a tiny little die as well that goes with that I haven't cut it out I don't think but this little little one that's got the holes in there you can put those two together and make the sweet little flowers and then you've got a lid if you put some leaf spray in between them you'll be able to um, have quite a bouquet of flowers there it's out of a punch you can get a, a larger flower dye as well I think there's a anyway thanks for watching guys and anytime you want me to do anything just say I'll come and have a little go okay thanks a lot bye